Welcome to the Good and New Podcast. Where the sponsors are fake and the hosts are buzzed. And we say fuck your feelings and join the show. Episode uh, 29. Um, right? 29? 29. That's what I put in the file name, so it better be. Um, Can't change that. No, cannot edit that after the fact. Good and New Podcast. Kyle, how you doing? Pretty good, and you? Fucking Fantastic. Even though I enjoyed last time when we were NAs, because we were sobering up after a long weekend, Yep, it just feels different knowing that you're having an adult beverage. Yeah. Speaking of which, a couple what, are we, what are we drinking? A little uh, stag. Show the camera that, yeah. Jorge. This is a nice three bats in the belfry discovery here. That, um... Belfry ads. No. I saw one in the wild for the first time in Portage, but it was part of a raffle. Uh, so you had to buy $50 worth of shit, write your name down. And I've done that at that liquor store mm, four times now probably, and I've never won. Okay. So every time I go in there, I'm like, will you just sell it to me? Come on. Like he's got four or five things each month that he's been doing. Yep. One of which this last time was Blanton's Gold. I don't know if you oh, yeah. see. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know. He said it was awesome. I told him I didn't like Blanton's that much. And he's like, well, the gold is whatever. Um, but yeah, he wouldn't sell that. So I'm glad you found it. I'm going to take a sip. In the wild, yeah. Next to the Beanie Babies. Um, You're right. It is pretty hot. She's but potent. 130 proof. It's good. I like it. The ice definitely helps. Yeah. Doing that one at room temp would be... Maybe a little strong. Yeah. You tried it that way first. Yeah, I drank it neat last night. Um, dude, got a hell of a deal on it. I looked it up when I got home, and like online places were like anywhere from two fifty to three fifty for a bottle. <laughs> Seventy five bucks. Oof, that's in- incredible and insane. But yeah, people, if you can't get it anywhere, yeah, and if you look at you know I I've spent over two hundred dollars now on. Granted, I go to the liquor store, you buy stuff because you want to have something to buy. But, like, sometimes it would probably only be 12 or $15 instead of, okay, I'll add in this and this and this. So, you yep. add that shit up how many times you do a raffle. Or some liquor stores, I think you can just, like, buy a spot like a, and yeah. do, donate it to charity or something. Yep. So, if you look at how many times you do that stuff and you never win instead of just, like, going on the mm-hmm. website and paying a crazy amount and just getting it, mm-hmm. I, I understand why people pay it. Yeah. It really made me want to consider putting it online, but I'm like... Eh. You, like, sell alcohol without a license is what you're saying? Yeah, yep. Okay. Yeah, you could try that. Yeah. <laughs> Have we talked about... I, I know that I've told you personally about, like, the beer group on Facebook I used to be part of yep. and how they did stuff. Did we ever talk about it on here? I don't know if we have. Well, why they get shut down? Uh, no, I, they still post stuff. It's just far less. I don't know if it's just not popular or if they got in trouble, but... Like, they would take a bottle, like an Imperial Stout from Central Waters that would cost $25 to get, barrel-aged Imperial Stout. They would take one of those, and this is like three, four years ago when it was more popular at least, um, because there's only certain amounts of those that are made, and you can't just go into a store and get them a lot of times, Mm kind of like bourbon right now. You could do the same thing with these bottles of bourbon that are not easily found, but they would take 10 people, I believe, And they would set the price according to like what the thing was, what they wanted to get. Usually anywhere from $3 a person to $30 a person. You get one raffle spot. Sometimes they would let you buy multiple. But they would use the Illinois Fireball Pick 3, kind of like our Badger 5 that draws every day. So this one, you know, they it's a three-number lottery. And then the Fireball is like the Powerball. And it can be... Zero through nine or one through ten, whatever it is, and basically they just do that. So they would set up the raffle. You would pick your spot, pick your number. Once it's full, they would go with whatever the next day. And if your number is drawn, you won the bottle. So you could pay twenty dollars for something that secondary would be like two hundred, three hundred, or more. Mm-hmm. A lot of people would just do that and then resell it. So they invested twenty dollars and then they sell it for full secondary. Highly illegal, I would assume, because you can't just right. like profit off of alcohol and sell it like that yeah. as a regular person. So 
it was a private Facebook group thing, but really fun. I won a handful of times. It was pretty neat. I actually won a series of bottles from a place out in California, California for those who aren't familiar, um, that I ended up selling to a guy we met at the Outlet Mall in Johnson Creek. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Three bottles, 300 bucks. Holy shit. Yeah. And because it was the whole collection? Or? Because it was, yeah, it was like 2015, 16, 17, a vertical of that same style of beer for each of those years. And I had had, I didn't get to try the 2015 because I had the bottle, didn't drink it. But I had the other two, so I was like, eh, fuck it. Unless this is going to be something that a group of people get together and do. Like, I'm not drinking these by myself. Right. And I was like, 300 bucks, and I invested maybe 50 or 60, so... I don't blame you for thinking Pretty about... Pretty decent profit. Yeah, I don't blame you for thinking about wanting to do it. It is nice to drink and know people aren't necessarily able to drink it, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. A little, little warm, like I said, 130 proof, but the ice tames it down quite a bit. That was from Lodi? Yeah. Three bats in the Belfry. I didn't, know, I didn't know they sold alcohol. Have they always? Yeah. Just like with a purchase of Beanie Babies? Yeah, you have to buy so many Beanie Babies. God. To, Good for them. I traded in my Princess Diana for Oh, that's a collector's a chance I would, to buy it. I would so. not have done that. Any other of the royal family, of course, but she was the only good one. <laughs> she was the only non pedo. Yeah, that's why they killed her. Um So uh housekeeping from last episode. Did we get any feedback from uh, anyone that we were boring or not? up in you know like spirits at all no um checked in with the person who provided the feedback and monitors that sort of thing yep and said that yeah good energy even okay. though we weren't drinking so well and it was did we record on a tuesday, tuesday last week yeah it was tuesday night so i mean we had just you know we had one day after a long weekend so i felt yesterday i was you know this weekend moving some stuff helping out uh family and yesterday I was just fucking wiped again after last weekend and this and work. Obviously, we'll just take it out of you because it's right. the worst. But yep. uh, other than that, I don't know if there's any housekeeping. Um, I had a, just two items. So I asked if Josh Hartnett was in the Final Fantasy movies as we were driving up north. Truck of Logs, Final Destination is the name of the movies. I knew Final what you, Fantasy is the video the game. Fucking, I knew what you meant whenever we were talking about it because... Either I just heard it and didn't acknowledge, or I just knew you meant final um, destination. Destination. Yep. I do love the first one. Was I mean they made like two or three, didn't they? Yeah, the first one's the only one I remember. Yeah, he was not in it, or he was. Ah, uh, I don't think he was for next week. <laughs> and <laughs> he's in um, Oppenheimer, I believe. Oh, really? That new movie that just came out, yep. fucking like three hours long or something crazy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wow. I think he's in that. I think I heard that he was. Okay. Would you go to a movie that's three hours long and sit in the theater? Any more this day and age? No. No. I mean, when you can watch it at home and pause the goddamn thing right. and like go to the bathroom and not miss anything, right. not deal with other people. Drink beers that aren't $8 a piece. Yeah. Um, You'd go to Barbie, though, in theaters. That's also no. out. No. But Bryn really wanted to see it, and then I was listening to a podcast today, Crystal and Sager, uh, and... Yeah, apparently not very kid friendly. Actually, I'd believe that. And they were Margot Robbie kids. Oh, uh, like they they didn't like she didn't take her kids, but she said there was a lot of kids in the theater, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm glad I went and saw it, and didn't just take my six year old to go see it because not very appropriate." Um, but yeah. Otherwise, the other only other thing I had was Ben Franklin. Um, he was over in London as a young lad. To purchase a printing press, so that's why he came back. That's why he sailed back on that day, and yeah. that was he was over there for like eighteen months. Wow! So, yeah, huh? Printing press, interesting. He did it all, man. He really did. Hmm. We'll get into more of that later. Well, back in back in those days, you just could you could do whatever you wanted. Yeah, you're like, hey, I'm gonna sell this sheep's wool as mittens and <laughs> charge a fucking million dollars. Exactly. Oh, that just reminded me of something. If I forget to talk about it, because, well, no, we don't, we can talk about it now. We did um, a hike, a little tour thing at your alma mater. Oh, yep. Uh, I sent you a picture of your accounting <laughs> professor. 
Yeah, I never saw that guy on campus. No, you didn't? Okay. Was he actually an accounting yeah. professor? Oh, yeah. No shit. Goofy bastard, as you uh. can tell. <laughs> Not just from his posture and his body shape and his tell clothing. Tell me he was leading and his mustache the hike. And he's, no, he was, he was, it's probably, he probably just does that for fun. Like, he probably just always does the extracurricular activities that his yep. workplace puts on. Yep. Anyhow, your alma mater, my wife's alma mater. They My had, wife's alma mater. Yeah, her wife's alma mater. Yeah, I saw her um, dorm facility w- compared to where Lindsay's was and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff, which is near that park you didn't recognize. Yeah. Hmm. So you're telling me you guys never snuck out to the park? and No, because when I went there, we were both in apartments. That's right. That's right. I never stayed in the dorms. Got it. Um, anyhow, hike like through the conservancy that they have over there. Um the i forget the guy's title but he like heads up the plant and environmental blah 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 division or like part of the school and then he manages the conservancy okay. and it was just something interesting she got an email about she said oh do you want to go do this I'm, sure I learned a really fun fact so milkweed mm-hmm. the main use and i meant to have the numbers prepared and i forgot to do it but we can look it up one of the main uses from the native people, they would line their moccasins with it oh, okay. for insulation. insulation. Yep. Another huge use, and I believe it was World War I, Wisconsin specifically picked and you know, like cultivated, whatever you want to call it, harvested and provided it to the army for life preservers. Oh. Something crazy like yeah, 600,000 pounds of it or something stupid. Yeah, because it's like uh, hydrophobic or whatever. Yeah. So I learned that on that little hike, and I thought that was really neat. I can figure out the number or whatever, but Wisconsin specifically provided that much. Um, and there's one other. Oh, the feral swine. Oh, yeah. I asked about it. I was like, so do you guys get a lot of feral hogs running through the conservancy here? And he's like... One lady, two or three years ago, said she saw one, and within a X amount radius, there's other people that have reported seeing one or two, so the DNR, like, went... It's not actually confirmed. Yeah. DNR went, like, gangbusters, putting up signs and trying to figure out if there's feral hogs in that area or something, but they've never seen it, unfortunately. So, hmm. there's some other stuff we learned. Um, oh, there's a... You know, the, is it... Just wild parsnip. That's yeah. the one that burns you. Yep. There's something else that looks really, really close to it, okay. but is not, and it doesn't hurt you. But that's what people, like, they learn about that one first, and then they don't realize, and that's how a lot of people get fucked up by it. And that was interesting. And... See, mine's opposite. I heard of wild parsnip first. I don't know what the hell this other shit is. So anytime I see anything that looks remotely close, I'm like, not touching that. Yeah, and you could be. Which, I don't know why you would, but... Could probably eat it in a salad. It's probably delicious. <laughs> probably is. Probably has all sorts of health benefits. Um, there's one other thing. Oh, I believe it was oak trees are said to be something with wildfires or forest fires that they're like basically flame retardant. They won't burn. Interesting. I didn't know that. It's something I did not know their, that either. Something to do with their bark. Um, the large like grooves and like style of their bark and then their leaves actually will burn up quick and like fall off or something so like huh. they won't like start the tree like they'll just like whatever and they'll cause fire to spread but the actual tree the wood won't the burn tree itself will be fine <clears throat> yeah so i thought that was interesting that is interesting i use a. Uh the fluff from milkweed every fall that's what i use for a wind indicator yep that's what i was gonna say that's the only thing i knew it was useful for yeah but then when you think of lining moccasins with it or filling old life preservers yeah, maybe sure. if my toes get cold i'll stuff some in my boots yeah there you go with a little bit of the parsnip huh. yeah <laughs> no I'll eat that that and that only affects you if you get it on you and it's like the the juices in the stalk. I would stalk. imagine, yeah, it's got to be like... And then the sun is what causes it to burn, is what they oh, told me. Oh, okay. So if you were to like rub up against it or like get the oils off of it or something, and it were at night and you like showered and then 
got then it off, like you'd be fine. But if you like do it during the day and you're running around and then the sun's out on you, like that'll cause the burning sensation. One thing I thought about with that is I wonder if it affects like dogs. Because mm-hmm. like I let the dogs just run off uh, without a leash. And I wonder if it could transfer from a dog to you. That's how I get poison ivy most of the exactly, time. Exactly. Yeah. If that could happen, I wonder if the burning effect would. Huh. Something to try. We should maybe test that on you. <laughs> Let's try it on somebody else. I'll take notes. But uh, anyway, that's all I've got for housekeeping. I didn't have anything. All right. Perfect. So, yeah, I guess we can move into the big three. Oh, my mom did say that it was nice to listen to stuff about the lake uh, and make my dad listen to it, and he couldn't interrupt me. So oh. She, she said that was nice. Nice. <laughs> he's known to do that every once in a while. Yeah. Get sidetracked. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> Glad we could help you out, Deb. <laughs> All right, so starting out this day in history, you're listening July 26th. Uh, in 1775, the U.S. Continental Congress creates the United States Post Office in Philadelphia under Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, he did everything. Did he get the printing press to print stamps? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. They probably, I mean, they fought the whole war about like taxes, so maybe he wasn't making people pay for Probably not. Mail tax. What uh, year was that? 1775. Hmm. Nice. Um, then we move on to 1788, and New York becomes the 11th state to ratify the Constitution. Um, and then they've just been trying to destroy it pretty much ever since. Yeah. So, I, I was going to say, I don't think they Mainly believe- the city, but... I don't think they believe in it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, sticking with New York, in 1933... Joe DiMaggio's 61-game hitting streak comes to an end. What a wimp. Yeah. Uh, And then sticking with baseball, in 1962, Milwaukee Braves' Warren Spahn sets the home run record by a pitcher at 31. So. Wow. We got that going for us. And I guess there's earlier in baseball, around that time and prior to, pitchers could hit. And they wanted them to hit. Right. Right. Well, in the National League up until, what, this year? Yeah. National League pitchers Still, hit. Yeah. But then there was a time where, like, I know, like, the AL got rid of it. But oh, like, but you're saying, like, pitchers could actually They hit. could fucking, they knew how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was a time where it's like, it just all went away. And none of them, like, especially in the NL, you were pissed or you'd pinch hit all the time. You wouldn't want your yeah. pitcher to get out there. But now it's starting to come back where that so... Otani. Sh- oh, yeah, Otani or whatever. He can crush it, and I feel like there's a few others. Yeah. But I kind of like the idea of a pitcher being like a home run hitter. That's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. And if you look at like when we played, like I think of Barry. Like I think he pitched a handful, you know, like a decent amount and could knock the piss out of the ball. Josh Mays, maybe a little bit. Big he head. Could, big head, giant head. Um, I think he could hit though. We know was he wrong-handed? Josh. Was he a lefty oh. or could he switch hit or something? I thought he had something weird with like maybe batting. he could switch hit or he thought he could. Maybe he thought he, he tried could. to, <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> that did, seems like a Josh. Though. Did you watch the home run derby? Uh part of it. That was a week or two ago now. Yep, at least. Um, there was a guy who did that. He yeah. He switched that over. That was when I turned it on. I turned it on right as he was going to the other side of the plate. He didn't end up like winning or going on, so he probably yeah, looks he, back he at that. He didn't even make it out of the first round. Yeah, but. he probably looks back at that as not a great idea, but yeah. maybe I don't know. Gets his name out there. Gets an extra highlight or two. Uh, all right, National Day of July twenty sixth. I'm bringing up the links because I want to kind of read about a few of these. Okay. So National Rebellion Day, and this is in Cuba. Oh, yep. National Rebellion Day in Cuba takes place on July 26th in honor of the movement launched by Cuban rebel leader and former Prime Minister Fidel Castro. It talks about when he attacked the uh, something army base, um, and they still celebrate it today. Uh, on this day, Fidel Castro, accompanied by 136 insurgents, laid siege to the iconic military unit in Santiago de Cuba. Um, it took another few the years. Whale's vagina. Oh, yes. that's San Diego. That's San Not Diego. Tiago. So that was in fi- 1953, the first attack. And then I don't know the exact dates, but 
it took until 1957 for the guerrilla army to like like come back and actually make some um gain some ground and then in 58 is when the uh batista dictatorship was overthrown and actually like surrendered 59 end of the rebellion and then castro was prime minister so in a matter of <laughs> aka dictator yeah <laughs> In a matter of six years, he made it happen, and they still celebrate it today. And um, he's he's dead, right? Yeah, I think so. And I then don't know. his brother took over, but is his brother dead now too? I don't know a lot about it. I have a friend from um, Cuba, close from college that has a brother-in-law or uncle or something like that that is from Cuba. Oh, yeah. and his Instagram is like hilarious. The stuff he posts, like anti a lot of. I mean, he's kind of pro Fidel Castro, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Would you go? Because right there, I think they lifted like you yep. can go. Um, now, I would. I don't. I don't have a need to like do it right away. Like that yeah. would be something like, hey, there's nothing else going on, or I've seen a lot of stuff recently. Let's try that. It's on my bucket list. Yeah. I know a friend of the program hasn't been a guest yet. Nick has been there t- once, if not twice. Really? Yeah. I feel like he went once when it was still kind of earlier. We really shouldn't have been going. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'd have to, we'd have to talk to him about that if we get him on. Well, it's kind of weird. So uh, our old neighbor, she used to do like the travel, set up the travel stuff for like the UW like Alumni Association or whatever. Okay. And I know that they were Badger able Badger honor flight? Nope. <laughs> no, they didn't take an honor flight there. Badger. Oh, okay. The UW, UW alumni. Alumni, not yeah. Badgers. The W Club, maybe? The w Club that like Badgers. Yes. Um, but they went there, and I know it was definitely before Obama hmm. was like, yeah, you guys feel free. Um, so I don't know how that exactly worked. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'd like to see it. All the old cars, and yeah. it looks absolutely beautiful. Jessica talked to some people, I don't know, must have been at work or something, some Canadians, and apparently they love it because they're treated like kings down there. But Even though they're ran by the queen. King now. Sucks to suck. Yeah, that's true. Uh, National Bagel Fest Day. Interesting history on bagels you like bagels i do what kind like uh, plain everything bagel jalapeno cheddar any of them keep talking to me yep um national bagel fest day is a celebration that started in mattoon i believe mattoon illinois uh idea for the event was introduced by mr murray lender the man who owns the bagel factory and lenders bagels started in 1986 um Dun, 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 dun. It's a huge thing down there. Or maybe other places now too. History. Let's see. Bagels are a bread product that originated from the Jewish communities of Poland. Huh. Didn't know that. They were officially mentioned for the first time in an Arabic cookbook from the 13th century. No shit. The spread of bagels across the world also took time. The breakfast item did not reach England until the 19th century. The exquisite bread was brought into America by Polish Jews that had migrated to the region. Those immigrants then became owners of a pop- popular bagel business called Bagel Bakers Local 338. Um, it's important to note the size of bagels have evolved over time and greatly increased. So they used to be more like bagel bites probably, you know, the little yeah. pizza bagels. Go figure, then this day and age we all are bigger, fat and fatter, and... stupider. Yep. Um, speaking of bagel bites and being fat, I had some of those from Dunkin' Donuts uh, Saturday morning. Bagel bites? Like okay, the pizza the... ones? Nope. So they call them that. I think they call them bagel bites. They're cir- it's a circle, spherical ball of dough with cream cheese inside of it. Ooh. My mouth is, again, I watering, can... talking about food. <laughs> Hear your arteries clogging. Dude, they're so fucking good. You get two of them in a little pouch, like a little nut sack of bagels. Okay. And it was an everything bagel, so it had, I don't know if it was everything. It was like just poppy seeds, really, or whatever they put on there. 
Um, amazing. Highly recommend. So if you're at hmm. Dunkin' Donuts and you're trying to figure out for a breakfast or whenever type snack, try those. Delicious. Uh, that's it hot for tip. the yeah hot tip for the bagels. One more national day of for July 26 is pretty hard hitting. International Day for the Conservation of the Mangrove Ecosystem. Okay. So I'll conserve some mangroves then. Yes. Um, mangroves. Let's see here. Some countries have lost more than eighty percent of their mangrove popu- population. Um, da, da, da. There's something that they help with here. Let me find it. Oh, mangrove ecosystem conservation is important as it prevents coastline erosion, mitigates the effects of tides and tsunamis, and reduces as atmospheric carbon. So we need to save the mangroves for those purposes. Good to know. A lot of organisms and shit live. That's where they reside too. So I would imagine a lot of fish, like yeah, in fish the root and, systems and stuff, yep. hide in there. Yeah. Huh. Um, well, here here's an example. 2004, the catastrophic flood that shakes many nations cannot touch a small village in India because of the protection endowed by its coastal forest. So just by having those, they were safe. So do what you can to save those fucking things, please. Yeah. I bet New Orleans wish they would have had more mangroves closer to them. Like, or just been above sea level. <laughs> that would have also helped, but... Yeah. All right, so then we move into uh, celebrity birthdays. There were a lot of them, so I tried to keep it. Um, I minimized the list. There were more okay. like names that I'd heard, but I still have several. Uh, so happy birthday, Sandra Sandra Bullock. Ooh, fifty nine years old. Favorite movie of hers? Um, Miss Congeniality. The Blind Side. Uh, Speed. Um, uh, Ocean's Eleven. Bird, Bird Box. Bird box. Did you ever see that one on Netflix? That sounds familiar. What the it's fuck? like everybody had to be blindfolded and shit because if you saw this, whatever the hell it was out there, you would kill yourself. Okay, I remember seeing the trailer. I didn't watch it. Yeah. Or I saw the thing. I watched it. Um, not Sucked. great. Yeah. Um, um, I'm trying to think of what else Oceans. No. What's the one where it's all chicks? Oceans 8? Sure, that sounds right. She's like the in charge of that. Yeah, I thought she did really good in the oceans movies. Yeah, <sighs> that's all I got. I can't really think of many of hers. Or right I'm, now. she's in a ton of stuff. Yeah, did she marry somebody weird? Yeah, she married the motorcycle guy. We talked about this on another okay. episode. Um, evil Jesse evil. James. Oh, that too. Yeah, and then he cheated on her or whatever. Yeah, nice. Uh, so yeah, 59th birthday, Sandra, Kate Beckinsale, 50. That's a name that I just, when I hear it, I don't know who the fuck it is. No idea. She... She sounds like she should be in, like, medieval time type movies. <laughs> I, You know, I can't name any of her movies. She dated Pete Davidson. So okay, she lost she's some points a, there. She's a loser. Got yeah. it. No. Um, attractive. She's okay. attractive. Especially for 50. I would have never guessed she was 50. Why would she slum it with fucking butthole eyes? I don't know, man. I don't know. Weird. Um, Jason Statham. Happy 56th birthday. Transporter. Yep. Uh, What's the one where speed. he... Speed. Yes, where he needs adrenaline. He has it's to just, inject the adrenaline, yeah. And he's like taking nasal spray like it's candy. Yep, yep. Yep. That was a good one. If you didn't like go and do a bunch of nasal spray after seeing that movie, <laughs> you're a pussy. <laughs> and then do hardcore parkour. <laughs> yeah, he's a badass. Mm-hmm. Transporter movies are great. He's got... He's got the Meg 2 coming out, so... Did you oh, ever see the Meg? I wa- is Dwigged in that? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Or is he in Sharknado? I, I never know. saw... I think I watched a He's little bit. He's got to be in the Meg, because <laughs> Sharknado, I don't think, had anybody... Okay. Well, they had Tara Reid, and who was the... R.I.P. And the guy from um, 90210, dead? wasn't it? Tara Reid? Yeah. I don't know. You'll have to Google that while I look up... I know... Or while I go through the next two birthdays. Ellen DeGeneres is dead. Nope, she just got canceled somehow. No, she drowned in Ricky Lake. <laughs> Speaking of being canceled. There we go. <laughs> there we go. 29 episodes in. <laughs> Maybe this will finally do it. Uh, Fucking bring it on. You like that movie? Yes. 
The first one only. <laughs> they made more than one. Bring it on again. Oh, that's right. It's already been brought in. Once more or something. Oh. No idea. Uh, Mick Jagger. Happy 80th birthday, young man. He's looked like he's been 80 for 40 years. You could tell me he's 67. You could tell me he's 167. Yeah. I'd believe you. Has tried every drug that's ever existed. Yep. All of them. At least twice. Has probably Magic Johnson numbers in terms of kills. Are you a fan? Rolling Stones? I couldn't tell you a song, like, name. Yeah, they just um, don't do it for me. Maybe there's something. Do they sing Paradise City? No, that would be... Um, fuck. That's Axl Rose, though. So, Rose. Why can't I think of the... I had a little bit. Jagger, Mick Jagger, Axl Rose, yeah. Guns and Roses. Thank you. Okay, yes. <laughs> couldn't think of the band name. I'm not the music guy. Anyway... Uh, and then we, speaking of canceled. We need a music correspondent. Like, we need a Western movie correspondent. We need a music, music correspondent. correspondent. And Lindsay could do, she's really good with that stuff. And somebody who can tell us what Kate Beckinsale was in. Uh, but speaking of being canceled, happy 64th birthday to Kevin Spacey. What did he do? Uh, fondled some kid. On, like, he was like an intern or something like that on one of the sets of one of his movies back in the day. Is Kevin Spacey the X Files guy? No, Kevin Spacey is House of Cards. Oh, really? Yeah. That doesn't seem like his name. That's why. But yeah, I knew that. That's why House of Cards ended when it did. I knew that. I knew that. You know, that reminds me. I bought for whatever reason. This was really stupid. I bought the like box set of House of Cards because back <laughs> when, like, I'm not joking. Because you. I lo- Net- I thought, thought was, Netflix was going away. I thought it was really good. I'm like, this is awesome. I don't know if it was a prime deal thing that I found, but like bought the DVDs. Well, when your internet doesn't work, like there's power outages or you go someplace that doesn't have internet. When there's a power outage, so you can't turn on the TV okay, anyway. Sorry, that's a bad example. When somebody hits the fucking Starlink satellite or something happens where like streaming services are down or they get hacked or whatever else. Then you watch old school movies or antenna like Farmer Five, so that might have been part of the rationale with that. Um, I also borrowed it to somebody I used to work with who didn't have any of the streaming stuff. So maybe I thought it was like a kind gesture. So you're like, doing a charity thing? Maybe. Speaking of which, he never gave it back to me, and now he's dead. So I didn't get those back. <laughs> Holy shit, that got deep real quick. Well, you just, I hadn't thought about House of Cards in a long time. And I was like, oh, that's right. I bought that. The show's not that old. I haven't thought about it in a long time. It like ended in like 2018, 2019. Well, it was, didn't they like take a little break or something? And then they came well, back. Well, yeah, to figure out how they were going to finish the last season or if it was going to be the last season. I swear, I bought it. Maybe I just bought like the first season or second season. Because they had to kill him off. Hmm. Weird. I 21 know. also, that movie. Oh, he yes. Was in that. That's a good movie. That was a good movie, too. I hate that he's a bad guy in that, though. Yeah. But he, he was the bad guy. Like, was there ever a movie where he wasn't, like... Well, no, he's a pedophile. Covert the bad guy? Um, no. Like, taking advantage of kids, that was just kind of what he did. Yeah, he fit the <laughs> In mold. his profession and... In his real life. He never played that part, though. They should have found a good part, like a part for him to be a pedophile. Well. And then killed him, like, actually, in the movie. <laughs> Just, like, those. Uh, Speaking of which, Sound of Freedom. I haven't the, seen it. I haven't either. A lot of controversy surrounding that. Yep. A lot of people saying it's a um, movie for far-right conspiracy theorists, like, fringe Republicans that... People like downplaying human trafficking. Yeah. Meanwhile, today, scrolling through Twitter, uh, saw that like some former ABC executive yep. Yep. was just char or he, he confessed to molesting a toddler. Yep. On that same topic, I saw something recently about some douche canoe out in Oregon, Portland area maybe that go figure. Was performing oral sex on a child okay. in like 2018, got like thrown in jail for it, has since decided that 
he is transgender and has not been given gender affirming care. And now the taxpayers out there are going to pay for him to have his fake makeover and get tits bolted on and all this other stuff. Like they're allowing him to get that. Oh, and the taxpayers out there are probably excited about it. Like, oh yeah, maybe for him. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Like what a time to be alive. Should have been just shot. Yeah. Hard and feathered something. Mm -hmm. But no, now he gets to have his own version of the Barbie movie in prison. Yep. For fuck's sake. What a Anyhow. time to be alive. Yeah, that's that's what I got for birthdays. Wow. <laughs> we got real dark. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday. Happy birthday, Sandra. <laughs> Thank, thanks a lot, Kevin Spacey, prick. You put him in there. Don't forget. That's uh, just because I liked House of Cards in 21. It was both good things. I agree. July 28th, uh, 1858. French photographer and balloonist. Didn't know that was a thing. Nadar, Nader, Nador, takes the first airborne photo in a balloon of Hot French, air balloon. I would then. assume so, yeah. Okay. Um, of French village of Petit Bessitre, 80 meters in the air, which do you... Paul Bissonnet. Paul Bissonnet. <laughs> Do you double meters and like take like 30 or 40 off to get feet? Or how do you do the thing? Meters are or, shorter than a yard. Yeah. Right? No, longer than a yard. Longest it's gotta yard? It's got to be your bowl. Longest yard. Good movie. Um, here, 80 meters to feet. Why don't you do meters to yards? 80 meters to yards. Meter is closer to a yard than to a foot. So 80 meters is 87 and a half yards. Okay, so meters longer than a yard. Now, feet. 80 meters is you should just 262 do... feet. So you triple the meters. Well, you, plus a for a yard, you triple the feet. Yeah, so that makes sense. <laughs> if anyone has followed anything we just said, congratulations. Um, anyway, first aerial photo. Pretty cool. As a person who likes to fly a drone and take a picture, that's pretty neat. 1858, that happened. Would you say he's a, a drone revolutionary? Yes. Or would that be Obama? <laughs> he he found uh, a way to use them to the fullest ex extent and um, not really get talked about doing it and then have a book come out and make a bunch of money and still be popular for some reason. Is what I'll say. Um, speaking of the meters to feet thing, I'm glad that I don't even. Maybe I planned this. 1866. You probably didn't. Try not. <laughs> Metric system becomes a legal measurement system in the U.S. Now we don't use it. A legal measurement system or illegal? A legal okay. measurement system in the U.S. Now we still use the Im standard imperial or no imperial. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But 1866 is when. Somebody was a dipshit and said, all right, we'll, we'll make it legal. No. All the rest of the world are dipshits. True. Uh, 1900, the hamburger created by Lois Lassing in Connecticut. Nope. Hamburger was created in Wisconsin. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. So there's some, I can't remember the name of the town, but they claim to have invented the hamburger. So. You have to take it up to this website have to take it up with you for doing some improper research. 1930. 114 degrees in Greensburg, Kentucky. State record. So, unfortunately for them, they didn't have the cool terms like global warming or climate change back then. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently, so everyone is aware, it used to get hot. It still gets hot, but it used to get hot also. So... Do I have one more? Seymour, Wisconsin. What year? Claims to have invented the hamburger. Um, 1885. Okay, they got it by 15 years. Type in Lois Born Lassing. at the fair in Seymour, Wisconsin. Type in Lois Lassing and see what comes up. When... 1943, <laughs> U.S. President FDR announces end of coffee rationing in the U.S. Didn't know they rationed coffee. In what year? 1943. Oh, that would have been pre-war. Wow. Didn't know they did that. I could see it like during WW2. 
which I mean, WW2 was going on, but hmm. that was before we got into it. Interesting. 2002, the 89th Tour de France had, this is the website saying this, had no winner. Lance Armstrong disqualified. Oh, yeah, so Lance Armstrong, the one not wonder, won it. Yeah, and like the caption or like the picture, like it said Lance Armstrong, comma, cheat. <laughs> Like, they were really fucking butthurt about... Lance Dude, you're Armstrong. riding fucking bikes. Nobody cares. Grow up. <laughs> like, anybody who is... <sighs> All right. Yeah. If, if we have any cyclists out there who listen... Oh, we do. I apologize, but get a fucking hobby. Okay? It's a mode of transportation, Kyle. How dare you? Yes, it is a mode of transportation. It's not a goddamn hobby. Get the fuck off the road. Sorry, very passionate about that. Where would you have them ride? We don't have to watch you in your fucking tights. That's fair. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yeah. So are you a Lance Armstrong supporter? Dude, everybody's doing PEDs in every single sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost feel that drugs to make human bodies recover and perform better is like the right approach. Or at least have a separate yeah. league for it. Well, I mean, shit. Like, let's see what they can do. In the NFL, they're shooting, shooting them up with, what the fuck is the stuff that they shoot Teradol them up with? Teradol or something? Teradol. Toradol. Toradol. Teradol. Like, how is that, that any different? Or if you're getting a... Um, Anal suppository. Yeah, that too. But if if any of us have like a like a joint injury or whatever, and they're shooting you up with, uh, what the hell is that stuff? Novocaine. Nope. Um, oh, shit. X-lax. Nope. <laughs> that'll help you shit um anyway you guys know what i'm talking about like if you have back pain lidocaine and shit no not lidocaine i said novocaine first <laughs> is that the same thing i would think it's similar Looking at but you, Joel. it's uh like real deep injection or whatever oh, spinal tap no god bless america <laughs> use, um, your, use your anyway phone. uh that, uh you keep yeah you keep reading do you want me to do birthdays while you look it up? Because it's on you for National Day. Of. Oh, National Day of. Uh, happy National Milk Chocolate Day. Milk um, Chocolate Day. Okay. Do you... Our favorite type of chocolate? Um, God, I would say it's a tie between milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Because I do enjoy oh, dark. dark chocolate. I do enjoy dark chocolate. Oh, Excuse me, what's your favorite? Milk. Or white chocolate. Oh, yeah. Even though white chocolate technically isn't chocolate because there's no cocoa in it. Cacao. 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 Um, Favorite candy bar? We've already talked about this. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yes, but then whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. What'd you find out about lidocaine? Uh, it's not lidocaine. I'm looking into it, though. Um, anyway, and then we move on. It's uh, since we talked about National Football Day last year. Not a football podcast. Not a football podcast, but we're soon to be. National Soccer, and then I put in parentheses, Football Day, because you brought that up. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, the, Women's World Cup is going on. Yeah. Didn't Did, the U.S. shit the bed the first match they had, like, just got trounced by someone? I don't or was know. that somebody else? That doesn't ring a bell. I thought some like team that was supposed to be good got their ass kicked, but maybe it wasn't the U.S. Yeah, I don't know. I I know that though they beat Vietnam on was that Saturday that twice now. <laughs> no Vietnam, we didn't win. Oh, we didn't. No. Oh. Or yeah, we just pulled out of Vietnam. <laughs> we never pull out, but we did. So you can call it a draw. Yeah, I guess. Although it's a loss because we probably shouldn't have been there and a lot of people died. Yes. <clears throat> um, who Who's responsible for that? Lyndon B. Johnson? He got us in. Nixon was also involved. Okay. Or Nixon got us involved. And I don't Lyndon know. kept sending people? Something like that. I don't okay. remember how it all worked out. Hey. I don't know. That was before our time. Uh, anyway, and then happy national, because this one kind of ties to Wisconsin, happy national water park day. 
Oh, yeah. Water park capital of the world. Self-proclaimed. Yep. Wisconsin Dells. Yep. Um, I, I don't know. Do you take... You guys take the family there for like a fall or winter we haven't thing. for a couple of years but yeah oh, we used okay. to did yeah i mean if you have kids it makes perfect sense yeah otherwise water parks they were fun when i was a kid but speaking of water do you get your dogs uh vaccinated for lepto yes you do lime lepto because you take yeah. them in the woods and the they drink they drink shitty all- pond water yeah, yeah. okay so that makes sense. Because lepto was like found in spores in like the dirt and shit too. Okay. So. Well, it comes from animals piss. Mm. And then in stagnant water. Okay. Um, we were just in the vet the other day and they're like, oh, do you want to do whatever distemper and... Cortisone shot. Cortisone, yes. Yep. Um, and they're like in this one that's like it's tied in, it's distemper and tied into this lepto thing. I was like, eh, eh, less is more in my mind. Like, Olive's like not right. If you're not going to take her out or like dog parks or like out in the woods, or right? Out in like, I mean, you swimming. do get deer in your yard, but the odds of her like, yeah, running in with licking up the piss from a deer that, yeah, picked it up somehow. And the little bit of research I did, it said that. Even if they have the vaccine, they can still get it. The biggest issue is it can transfer from a dog to a human. Okay. Um, but something like some dogs can get it and not show signs of it and still transfer. So it's like, it's a fucking crapshoot anyway. Yeah. It really just, there's a few cases where it's like, it's not eight days and then they start to feel or have the symptoms. It's like immediate and they're done. And I think the vaccine would help with that. Oh, so they can die from lepto. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it can cause kidney failure and some other shit. Okay, so now that you bring that up, that's funny because Thursday I took Ellie to the vet for her checkup. She got her lepto. She mm-hmm. got her Lyme and her rabies. Yeah, she has to do it. Lepto isn't like every year. Every year. Lyme and lepto every year. Okay. Um, And... They were like, oh, do you want to do, like, the the heartworm test? Because, you know, even though she's on the the pill or whatever, the heart guard or whatever, like, she can still get it. And I'm like, if she can still get it and I'm giving her this expensive-ass medicine every single month, why am I giving her the fucking medicine? Why don't I just fucking roll the dice? Yeah. And then also save myself the 100 bucks for your goddamn blood test every year. Yeah. That was the first time that anybody had ever said that to me. I'm like, I love my dog, but I think I'm just going to roll the fucking dice from here on out. Like, well, on the flip side of that is you, you, you know, a listener um, that has dealt with something like this through the vet, getting the heartworm shot for the dog, and it killed the fucking thing. Oh, yeah, recall. yeah. So yep. there's like, you try to do the right thing, and it ends up fucking you anyway. Right. And then now it sounds like, oh, okay, maybe she has less of a chance if I get her. Because, so we switched vets. <clears throat> so this vet won't sell me the drug unless we do the test every year. And it's like, if you took the test, like, what are the ads? Yeah. Well, and I asked about the lepto. I'm like, are you seeing a lot of cases? Like, are a lot of people? Mm-hmm. Well... No, we're not. You know, a lot of people do vaccinate for it. I'm like, okay, well, and then as I look it up, and you can still you can still get it even though you vaccinate for it. You're not seeing the cases. I'm like, it makes me think. Unless it's a specific type of dog, hunting dog, whatever else, or somebody that lives in a fucking swamp. Right. Yeah, like a high dog, risk area or yeah. whatever that they're going to be a lot. So I was like, eh, I'll pass for now. Yeah, but it's like thirty bucks, so I just get it. To, for that one. To bring this full circle, I was going to say, water parks are fucking gross because of all the people that go, <laughs> yes. in, that go in the pool. I was going to say, how do we get on this fucking tangent? I was thinking of gross water, and then it reminded me of how I had this recent thing about lepto. Yeah. And I had been meaning to ask you. And Yeah, there we go. Yes, I do get my dogs vaccinated for lepto. No free ads. No free ads. To the vaccine people. Yeah. That make the shit. Um, I'm not a skeptic. Is that your last That national? is it. Okay. That is it. Yep. 
Uh, July 28th, birthdays. Afro Man turns 49. Nice. Because, because he I got, got high, he turned 49 years old on July 28th. Um, he looks like he could be 59, maybe 89. With kind of a, a, a rough life, maybe. Uh, Dana White turns 54. Okay. Have you seen the recent interview where somebody's asking him, like, oh, there's, like, some racial comments or whatever, like, between the fighters? Oh, yeah. And he's just like, well, I forget exactly what he's he like, said. Th- uh, something about, like, that's the fight game or whatever. Yeah, like, it's like, they're fucking fighting each other. Like, yeah. They're trying to kill each other, yeah. Awesome response to the question. And then uh, Jackie Gunshy Kennedy would be <laughs> her birthday as well. Miss Onassis. Is uh, she still alive? Oh, R.I.P. would would be. Yeah, R.I.P. Okay. Those are the birthdays. Nice. Uh, so then we move on to July 30th. Can we um, beer me quick before you get into it? I can. What do you want? The Badger Honor Flight. Yep. Never forgotten. Thank you. Uh, so July 30th. This year in history. The year. Can you picture it? 762. I cannot picture it. I don't uh, even know if I believe it. The city of Baghdad founded, and then America destroys it roughly, what, 1,200 years later? Yep. Yeah, we don't know exactly why they did. uh, They had WMDs, allegedly. I was going to say, did they? (laughs) Which, when you send me the the GW memes last night, I was like, holy shit, this is like... On fucking par. Too spot on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, but wow, yeah. I mean, for a city to be founded back then and still be alive and kicking, I guess. Yeah, Insane. a lot of history there. Yeah. Um, Would you ever travel to... like I see Middle that, East, no. There's these like Instagram accounts where there's this like dude, he's like European, he's something. like He looks like Aladdin or whatever. And he travels to all the different like places you're not supposed to go. Mm-mm. And he's like doing things where he's literally being snuck into countries. Like tr- crossing a fucking river, Oregon Trail style, like into a different country and then finding the people. And So you have to remember that if he's European, that's a little different. If they yeah, find true. out that we're American. True. Yep. Heads off. Yeah. That's like the Chris Porter ugly and angry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, if you guys I mean, we've already talked about it but watch the special from Chris Porter find it it's so goddamn funny yep. <laughs> the backpackers want to go hiking in <laughs> Baghdad was it? Pa- uh, Iran Iran <laughs> we're extreme we like Sean White <laughs> <laughs> he's like I don't know if you've seen the the forest there um, but there's a lot of things that are pretty dark these people were so white, they could be seen from space. <laughs> yep. Then they got caught, imprisoned. Our government had to get them out. Whole thing. Pretty yep. funny. Uh, he, had, As I mentioned to you, he also has a new one on YouTube, which mm. is not as good, but it's still pretty good. Um, then 1863, so just fast forward another 1,101 uh, year. Math guy. President Abraham Lincoln... Ever heard of him? R.I.P. Issues eye for eye order. So that was where he ordered the Union soldiers to shoot a rebel prisoner for every black prisoner that was shot by the rebels. Okay. Eye for an eye. Yeah. Fair guy. Yeah, the Democrats were really mad at him for ending slavery. Yeah, they were. They, like, killed him because of it. Yeah, it's really weird. (laughs) Strange. Yeah. Huh. They've been... Yeah, whatever. We won't... Whatever. Yeah. Politics. Form your own conclusions. <laughs> you connect the dots. 1945, after delivering the atomic bomb across the Pacific, the USS Indianapolis is torpedoed and sunk by a Japanese submarine. 880 crew members died, Oof. many after being attacked by sharks. Oof. This was the inspiration for the movie Jaws. Fuck. What a that's, way to go. Yeah, that's fucking... You damn near end the war. Well, I mean, you basically did end the war, but you don't get to know that because you're getting eaten by a shark. Yeah. There what? was a, a, a picture. It was like two guys in a, a lifeboat or whatever, uh-huh. and you could see like a shark like 
swimming. Did you see the thing about the drugs being dumped in the ocean? Cocaine sharks? Mm-mm. It's like a new thing. You get that confused with cocaine bear? No, same thing though. Like there's some, you know, drug traffickers, whatever, prevalent um, in, you know, ocean to, you know, island to continent, whatever the fuck their routes are. And they were either getting chased by the Coast Guard or I don't know what happened if their boat capsized or something, but apparently a lot of cocaine gone and there's supposedly sharks eating the like bricks of coke wow so imagine uh apex predator on cocaine <laughs> like a bear or a shark yeah weird the bear one that's like more fairy tale kind of right like he ate it but he like died kind of quick yeah i think he yeah i think he like choked or did uh, not choke had a hard like, sack yeah whereas i don't know these sharks who knows they're yeah. crazy man the videos of I saw a video the other day showing this huge gash or like cut or attack, whatever wound on a shark. And then like three weeks later, the same scuba diver, like it's part of this, you know, they kept seeing the same shark and it was like healed almost perfectly. Like you'd still see a little bit in the same spot, but like their skin and like their tissue and whatever else is like next level compared to humans, I think, and other species, obviously. Or they were injecting it with uh, stem cells. Yes, that too. They cloned it, made the clone fuck the original, and then... Yep. Yeah. That's how it works. That's how they get you. Um, National National Day of? Yep, National Day of. July 30th. National... Um, this is one of the Hunter Biden... Um, for the Hunter Biden fan club. National Whistleblower Day. Okay. So, appropriate timing, because... There's a whistleblower trying to testify or in the news from the IRS that has been testifying for yeah. the, what do you call it? Not money laundering, but paying the big guy and whatever, you know, Hunter's finances yeah. all. You know, it was being crooked as fuck. Yeah. Um, so if you're a whistleblower and you have a legitimate thing. As long as it's not to the Bidens or the Clintons, then you're... Maybe you'll yeah. get listened to. Sorry about your suicide. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how you keep big companies and certain people accountable. You have to blow the whistle on them. Yeah. And you're protected. Yeah. Well, till supposed you're not. to be. Till, till Hillary finds you. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to be. Um, also, oh, speaking of the Bidens, um, National World Against Human Trafficking Day. So, the Bidens or the royal family or basically yep. all of Hollywood. Yep. So if you see some sort of human trafficking activity, see something, say something. Say I think something. is what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then a lighter note: National Snorkeling Day. Oh, nice. Have you snorkeled? I have. I think I've like outside of all. Oh, let's try this in the pool. Um, Maybe in the Bahamas when I was a child, I okay. believe we did that. Yep. Where'd you do it? Um, well, we we bought stuff before we went to Costa Rica. Got stung by a jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, took Jessica peed on you, right? Nope, that doesn't work, apparently. Oh, but you had to try. <laughs> nope, didn't. No, it, it felt like a bee sting. It was the night before. It felt like a bee. <laughs> What's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? <laughs> Google it if you don't know. <laughs> um, Jamaica. Oh. We went snorkeling as well. Mm-hmm. Did you see anything cool in either place? Um, Besides a jellyfish. <laughs> I didn't even be able to like... like I was literally knee deep in the water. Oh. I got hammered by the jellyfish because... Whatever... The resort had canceled all the tours because of the jellyfish, and I'm like, "Well, fuck it, we're here. Let's try. I'll, yeah. I'll try it." Mama, Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> That's right. Got knee deep, got sung by a jellyfish. I'm like, "Yeah, fuck it, like good, a girl. Good enough. Good enough." <laughs> but Just no, <laughs> throw the fucking flippers as far as you can into the ocean. Yeah, we saw some fish in uh, Jamaica, but yeah, it, whatever. It's fun. Have you done snorkeling? 
That's no, literally what we're talking about. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Scuba diving. Uh, only in the pool when we were in high school. Mm-hmm. Would you do it in like a ocean setting? I would, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go like way the fuck down, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like really interesting and it also makes me nervous. Well, that's why I'd want to do it in like a... Shallow water. Like yeah, like maybe down to group. 20 feet where you could get back up real yeah. quick if you had to. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would try it in that scenario too. Yeah, I don't need to go anywhere where like if it was like life or death, like have to hold my breath to get back to the surface. Get the no. bends. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need I don't need to go that deep. There's can't be anything that cool down there. I mean there is. It can't be that cool that I can't find on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, just look at it on YouTube. Fuck it, it's way better. <laughs> um that is the list for National Day Off. All right, so in celebrity birthdays. Happy seventy sixth birthday, Arnold. Ooh. He used I would to have be guessed cool. him to be that old. Yeah. He used to be cool. He could probably still break us in half. Yeah. He's in a show um we watched a season or so of. Um, fuck, he's like a spy for the CIA or something. Okay. It's kind of recent. What's it, it was, on YouTube? No, it was... Prime? N- it was Netflix, I think. Either Netflix or, or Hulu. Sorry, Netflix is what I meant, not YouTube. Um, it was pretty good. His Spoiler alert, if you're watching it or you're about to watch oh, it, I guess turn I it off now. Right. Yeah, I don't care if you watch <laughs> it or not. Um, his He finds out because he had been hiding it from his family. You can't tell him that he's a spy. Hmm. He finds out his daughter is a spy. They Ooh, re- they double recru- cross. Well, for the CIA, like, oh. same team. Oh, okay. But they recruited her, and then they find each other on, like, a mission. So it's kind of like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Except they don't bang each other. <laughs> or try to kill each other. Or do I, they try to kill? They each might. Other? I didn't get that far into it. It was kind of good though. I don't don't remember the name, but Arnold Schwarzenegger the last two years maybe. Okay, I'll have to look that up. He's old though. Like, he he looks. Well, he's seventy six. Yeah, he looks at least like when he filmed it, like at least seventy four or seventy five. I would say. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes Checks sense. <laughs> Math adds up. Uh, happy fifty fifth birthday, Terry Crews. Office linebacker? Yes. <laughs> no, um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, yeah. Yep. White Chicks? The White Chicks, yep. His best role? Brooklyn Nine-Nine. White Chicks. I would say above White Chicks. I don't watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It, well, it's done now. Andy Samberg like, pisses me off. Really? Like, yeah. No shit. I don't like did it. You, did you not watch Hot Rod then? I watched Hot Rod. I, didn't, I watched it maybe once all the way through. Did you watch uh, He's My Boy or That's My Boy or whatever? Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg? Yeah, that one I didn't really like either. Uh, Adam Sandler and that one I didn't care for. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then your favorite um, soccer goalie of all time, Hope Solo. Hope Solo. Happy 42nd birthday. You're probably hungry for some roast beef right now. Oh, God. <laughs> We'll share a link. Um, be sure to click on it. Mom, don't. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> don't. Be sure to click on it on the Instagram story. Um, Hope Solo and her butthole are 42, you said? 42 years old. She Woof. Scandalous <laughs> pictures. Woof. Goalies are weird people. That they are. It stands true in the NHL and obviously in football. Yeah. Um, weird individuals. Well, at least that one, yeah. Because she <clears throat> leaked her nudes because she like beat one of her nieces or nephews, right? She leaked them, or somebody leaked them. S- somebody leaked them she after she it beat to, some kids to put the spotlight over here. Yes, instead of her being she a child to beater. Be, yeah, she wanted to be the victim. Yes, allegedly. Allegedly. Sorry, don't sue us. Allegedly. Allegedly, Hope Solo showed off the meat curtains. <laughs> because she was a child beater. Mm-hmm. 
did the kid deserve it? Do we know? Probably. Now, when people say, like, you know, Adrian Peterson, Vikings running back. Yeah. Beat his kid with a switch, right? Yeah. But there's, like, a line of, like, over-the-top, like, assault, child abuse. Mm-hmm. Especially when it gets into, like, the mind game, like, lock him in a fucking dog cage or the weird shit people do. Yep. Compared to, like, discipline and stuff that used to be commonplace. So, when you hear that, like, oh, she's a child beater, she was beating her kids, like, well, what does that mean? I don't know. I never right. looked, Did never she, looked like, into it. Did she, like, smack the kid upside the head one yeah. time? Was he, was he in Walmart using his cell phone and talking to somebody on speakerphone? Hit him. Yeah. Fucking hit him. Yep, all for that. Did he steal something or she, you know, like, there are a lot of reasons where discipline is necessary. Yep. So, I wouldn't put my butthole picks out necessarily <laughs> after getting in trouble unless it was bad. The so old she, bait and switch. She must have done it, like, the not correct way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the circumstances. I can't confirm. Well, I know part of the mind. circumstances and they're bad. <laughs> I, I do know one half the story. And you don't want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Denver's stopping at Arby's on the way home then? Oh, God. How old is she? 42? 42. Hmm. Good for her. Um, speaking of fucking crazy people, this morning I had to go to the DMV. Okay. As people do. Humble brag. Got a new license. <laughs> Couldn't get the real ID because what do you think the reason was that I couldn't get you the didn't real have the two or three forms of identification? I didn't have two examples or proof of address. Yeah. So I had birth certificate and passport. Okay. Which I'm like, so you need in addition to that, you need multiple forms of address. You need like to show where you live. address. Yes. Uh, just one form of that or two. multiple. Two. Okay. And I said, she said, okay, and do you have, she asked, do you, is the passport uh, current or, you know, active, whatever, not expired? I was like, yep. And she said, and two f- um, proofs of address? The passport doesn't have your address on it? I thought it did. Off the look. Because I'm going to have to come in a couple months here. I'm going to have to renew mine. Well, if you want the real ID. Well, you, you're going to have to have it unless you want to carry your passport around to fly. I was like, um, does electronic proof like count? Because in a paperless world where everyone wants you to like get shit like emailed to you, mm-hmm. and I can pay the fucking bills online and never have to have a piece of paper, why would I have a piece of paper to show this angry bitch at the DMV? And of course, th- it did not count. You cannot use that. So I just had to get a regular driver's license. <clears throat> But anyhow, the highlight of the story, so I'm sitting there in the parking lot, a Porsche convertible, like nice Porsche comes flying in, parks, old fucking white dude with the, you know, fancy eyeglasses and bald, wearing Sperry's or some bullshit, gets out. There's already two people sitting on the stoop of the DMV. Opens at 8.30. Okay. I got there at 8.21. Two people sitting there waiting in line are like waiting for it to open. He is the third person to approach the door. I don't know if one guy disappeared or like had something else going on or if something like he went to a different part. But when we got inside... I didn't get to see it because I was like last in line because I waited to like go up there. I'm like, I'm not going to go fucking like whatever. We get inside and I hear the Porsche dude. Well, I was first in line. Well, that is a lie. He wasn't. He had done something where he just like walked up to the counter and like the window wasn't open yet. And they're like, no, 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 you got to wait in line. And then the line had formed through the snake of like the barrier thing. Yep. And he's like, oh, I was first in line. And they're like, well, you got to get back in line. He sits there, him and haw, and he's loud as fuck, just super annoying. I was like, wow, this guy. 
so they let him like everyone lets him budge and get back to his spot. He gets up to the window, and it's not like there's not like a lot of background noise or anything going on at this point. I don't know if it's just early in the morning. There's not a lot of people in there. They don't have music or anything on. And he's talking loud. He's like, I was in here a couple times last week, and he needed me to you know come back with this or that. And the guy's like, I yeah, I see a lot of people. I don't remember you. Like, what's what are we trying to do? He's like, well, you know, I I talked to you. And the guy's like. Again, like, you have to tell me. I don't remember you. Well, it was the DUI. He, like, starts talking, like, it was the DUI. And the guy's like, okay, well, yeah. Everybody gets one, yeah. so. He's all right, well, I need to see your ID. What's this? He's like, that's the other thing. I was robbed over the weekend. I'm like, okay. Where so, do you live? Yeah, so, like. That you're driving a Porsche. A new one, a nice one. And you're getting robbed. Yep. He's like, they fucking told, they took everything. My phone, my wallet, all my stuff in there. And I, I all I have is this picture of my ID. And I'm like, it sounds like you just forgot your ID and you had your wife or whoever just send you a picture of it this morning when you got there. Who takes a picture of their ID? <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm planning on getting robbed. I better take a picture of this. <laughs> fucking idiot. Well, he's like, are you sure you don't remember me? I'm a guy, I'm from California, I'm trying to get a Wisconsin license. And as soon as he said that, I'm like, okay, this you is... You stole ma- this Porsche. <laughs> I'm like, this is making more sense now. This guy's a fucking idiot. And he's just loud as can be. So we go from that old gentleman, and I'm not trying to be ageist here, but old people are fucking stupid. They're the worst. Um, no offense. Yeah, no offense. And there's a fine well, line. none of them are listening anyway. They don't know what a podcast is. <laughs> there's a fine line of... Like, just being out of touch and being, like, blatantly dumb. Yeah. So, this old guy from California doing his thing. This other guy who has a, a younger wife, caretaker, handler of some sort with him <laughs> is there for a road test. The guy can barely walk. And oh, boy. He goes over to the... He like He waits in line, gets up there, and they're like what are you here for? He tells them or tries to tell them. They're like, well, you have to go over here to this other window, which the lady who just told him to go over there is the lady that walks over there and helps him anyway. So I don't know if it's a different computer or what, but the fucking DMV is just such a joke. And they get over there and he's just holding this piece of paper and like wants to give it to her. And she's like, I don't need that. I I just need your name and your appointment. And do you have this and this? And he like kind of fumble fucks his way through the words but he keeps like trying to give. I'm like, is this guy not like right? Like, why is he taking a road test? He's really old, doesn't seem to know what's going on, shouldn't be behind the wheel. She tells him to go sit in the road test waiting area. He goes and sits down. His handler's already over there, and she's pretty quiet the whole time. I'm like, well, you seem like you can actually communicate with human beings. Why are you not like helping with this? He sits down within, and I'm just still in the back of the line, like watching all this. Within two minutes, not even, of him like sitting there, he starts arguing with her, the handler. Like, I'm going back up there. Like, she didn't, like, I, she didn't read this. Yeah, I got an appointment. And he gets up. Two people had just walked up to that window before him, and they're together trying to schedule a road test. This time, the guy that's working the counter goes over to help them. He's like, What's your, uh, what time was your appointment? He's like, the guy's like, uh, 8.40 or 8.50. I don't know. It was just before nine. And the guy's like, okay, well, was it 8.40 or 8.50? And he's like, I don't remember. It's one of those two. And he's like, well, it's 8.52. So you're late regardless. And he's like giving this guy shit. They sit down. The old guy gets back up there and the guy's like, all right, what can I help you with, sir? And he starts mumbling. I can't make out anything he's saying, if he's even, like, making sentences or not. Demo. Everybody know that. Everybody know that, boy. This lady who helped him originally, like, hears him or, like, sees him out of her periffs, looks, stands up, and just fucking yells at him. Sir, I told you to sit up. Like, just laying into him. And I'm like, you know, power trip people at the DMV. I'm like, classic. This lady is like... And when I got up to her, she's like, okay, good morning. What are you here for? I was like, I need a new ID. She's like, ID or a driver's license? Because if I give you an ID, you will never be able to drive again. And I was like, <laughs> ever. It's, it's a driver's license. My mistake. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ. 
So yeah, that was, it was just a wonderful experience. Didn't get the real ID. Have to go back eventually. And hopefully they sh- send the fucker in the mail before we go on our vacation. Oh, you're fine. Because I don't, they, they keep pushing it back. So I yeah. think it's like November before you got to have it now. Yeah. So yeah, fucking oh. DMV. When's the last time you were in a DMV? Last time I got a license, I still have my old address on my license. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking go in and yeah. pay for a new one. You can do it online now. So if you if you go in person, you have to get a new picture and do the stuff. You can do it online if if like you're changing address and doing this, that, whatever. Mm-hmm. So look into that. You would actually not need to go in there and do anything. Okay. Well, well you can do the real ID though? Uh, no, probably not. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, I'm going to have to go in. Um, but if you go, two forms of address. How did we get on that tangent? Talking about old stupid people. Who was your last birthday? Uh, Hope Solo. <laughs> She's the youngest one that we just talked about. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about weird people or something. It was the California guy. Well, we're an hour and 16 in. Okay, so time to get to the main event. We got to have the X Factors. Oh. We could just we could, we could just make this the episode. <laughs> Um, or just give a quick recap of like our weekend or something too but um x factor do you want me to go first because mine's not very good i do because i still need to find one (laughs) okay you're fucked then because there's nothing good all right so uh fuck i didn't even write down the actual date but in 1890 somewhere during this week vincent van gogh the psychopath that cut his ear off oh yeah yeah Shoots himself in the chest and dies two days later of his wounds. I saw that one. I, I wasn't going to pick it. I'm glad I didn't. Um, so the one that I've had for a long time and not just finding right now is... Um, You're having trouble reading since you've had it so long? This is just the way this is written is perfect. 1961. Bob Dylan. Which day? June 29th. We're in July. Wait. Yeah, July 29th, I think. 1961, Bob Dylan is not seriously injured in a car accident in New York City. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad he I wasn't. Didn't have, I didn't have an X Factor, so I think yours wins. I did see that one, though. I thought about that. That was the best one. Like, this was just a boring week for the off days. Yeah. A lot of there was one um, Tommy John, the pitcher for the Yankees. Yep. He apparently recorded got his own surgery. He gave himself his own surgery. No, in a game he recorded on one play. He personally recorded three errors. It was against the Brewers, but the Yankees ended up beating the Brewers like sixteen to fucking three or something. So I didn't want to put it in there. How Typical do you have, Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah. How do you have three errors? In one play? So as a pitcher, let's just say he Bat, a grounder right back to him, and he, like, he missed dropped it. it, yep. And then he would have had to make a throwing error, too. Yep. And then maybe... Then he ran to home. Oh, because first, Somebody threw past the catcher. The catcher had to go, and he covered home and dropped that. Yeah, maybe something like that. Three errors, though, for a what pitcher. A, that's what, what a loser. No wonder he got that fucking elbow <laughs> injury or whatever. Yep. Hopefully it was on that play. Yeah. Three errors. Wild. Speaking of baseball, I saw that um, Barry's team won the championship. He was talking about baseball. He had had games coming up or whatever. They won the eight under, eight-year-old, whatever, Little League Baseball Championship. So shout out Barry and his team. Um, I think the final score was like 19 to 13. Three or something, also like that was a blowout. They play the school of deaf, dumb, and blind, or <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I mean, other Their kids other are doing their best. Old... <laughs> yeah, you're talking about somebody's child. <laughs> not, not that they want to claim them after that kind of a beat down, but yeah, the dad just leaves and goes right to the bar. Maybe I'll be <laughs> home tomorrow. Maybe not. The way you played, oh, yeah. you're lucky to ever see me again. Yep. Well, that gets us through the big three. We're just an hour and 19 minutes in. Casual Um, hour and 19? I guess. We could probably just do a quick recap then of the weekend, what we did. Uh, Unless you want to go in and do 
I mean, we, this could turn into a long one if we go into utter best, utter worst. Yeah, well, let's save utter best, utter worst for when we're a little bit more prepared. Okay. So, yeah, give us yeah, a... Yeah, because we did not. Because <laughs> we did not prepare We for sat that. down, Denver was about to hit record, and I was like, whoa, what's the main event this week? We yeah. went real long on the big three. A lot of tangents. Yeah. That's good. I like yeah. it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll save utter best, utter worst. Uh, recap on the weekend. Um, I did not do anything. Watch much golf. Super exciting. I watched some golf because of the weird time. You get to watch it in the morning into early afternoon. Um, do you know much about the Open Championship or the golfer of the year, whatever the fucking Europeans say when they win the Open? Do you know much about Brian Harmon? Uh, I know that I didn't want him to win. I was hoping for him to shit the bed one of the days of the weekend to make it interesting and okay. that didn't happen now do you, you know much about him i didn't i do now okay well i know a little bit more so when he won and had his little speech after the fact you could tell he is a southern boy i think he's from Got Georgia. Draw. well it's just yeah the way he phrases stuff like you know we're gonna drink some pints out of the claret jug that's for sure or, you know whatever he said and he's got that that draw, yeah. Um, people are the reporters were asking him, "What do you plan to do now that you've won?" And he said something to the effect of, "Well, I just a couple of weeks ago, after winning a little bit of money, I bought a new tractor for my hunting land, so I'm just going to be mowing some grass and turning the phone okay, off." Okay, I like him a little days. bit more now. Yep, he has a video on his Instagram, which I shared to our story, I believe today maybe um he is a bow hunter and has shot a beautiful elk with his bow okay there's a video of it which is cool apparently kevin kisner was with him hunting and kevin kisner was filming it and when i was looking up some information about him when my father-in-law asked who was leading the open i was like brian Harmon. he's like, he didn't recognize the name he's only won twice this is his third win first major He's late 30s, maybe, or mid 30s. He looks old. And he's very short. Yeah, 5'9, right? Nope. 5'7. Five, 5'7. Seven. Five, seven. And that was the, as I typed in his name on Google, the second thing, Brian Harmon height. <laughs> so, common thing. People are like, God, he's short. Because the guy who was leading the day before him was like 6'8, a 6'8 amateur. Or yeah. Whatever. Amateur. Who had the fucking weirdest swing I've ever seen in my life. I didn't get to see a lot of him playing. I'll have to find those I highlights. didn't either, but I, I saw scrolling through Instagram like his swing, and I'm like, what? Like, how are you... When you're that tall, though. How are you playing in a major tournament? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, Brian Harmon, Hunter, kind of a blue-collar, normal right. guy. A little more respect for him, then. He's... Going to make the Ryder Cup at this point. You would think. Um, the thing that sucks about him is how long it takes him to hit the fucking ball. Did you see that they had the waggle count? A lot of waggle. Did you see that they Ooh. counted each time? No. So he was over a 1,000 or over 3,000 for the entire tournament. Each well, he shot, does it like fucking eight times a each shot. Each shot is like 15. There's a, there a few where they showed it. It got up to like 12 or 15. Yeah, I'm like, dude, just hit the ball already. Well, the, his approach shot into 18. He did it a bunch. I thought I was like having a stroke. I'm like, is this like just repeating? Am I not seeing yeah. the live feed? And then he just ships one way out to the right into the bunker. And I was like, really? You do all that to do that? But he can putt really well. He doubled up the field or, you know, the second close, closest person. So, yeah, I had tough weather. Tough course. He They're must weird... not have been that slow, though, because, like, what was it, the U.S. Open or the PGA, where Brooks, like, got fucked because of Cantley? Yeah. But, yeah. I, I didn't know. hear anybody bitching about his pace of play. No. Nope. So. But, yeah, he did wake a, a lot. It's, and it's so weird to look at. I hate, like, there's some times where I do it a few times. I'm like, all right, this is stupid. Hit mm-hmm. the ball. Yeah, some people just have that, like, in their head or, like, they don't even know they're doing it. Yeah. Like, he's, like, look, like peeking, looking up to, like, see where the flag is or where he wants to hit. It's, like, the amount of time you spend turning your head and looking a split second 
you're not even seeing anything. Right. How are you not getting dizzy doing that? Right. So that was kind of weird. Yep. So I'm torn. I want to learn more about him or I want to see some interviews or, you know, see a little bit more, see him play a little bit more because I hate that part, but I like the other stuff. Yep. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how'd moving go? Pretty good. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of a run around with the U-Haul up there in the central Northwoods, not Northwoods necessarily, but got a lot done. So that's good. Got out on time never, and everything. What's that? Got out on time and everything. Yeah, got home a little bit late. It was a long day Saturday, but happy to help. Um, excited for the new place up there. We can talk more about that later, but um, yeah, it was nice just being up there. I love that area. Did you guys get any golf in or nope. just moving? It's Friday night. We watched a handful of people come through and play, and you know it was fun doing that but didn't get to play um really want to it's been well i guess i played thursday but besides that shitty round thursday where greg made me wear his shoes it had been like two weeks or ish since a full round so hopefully uh this thursday is much better how did your weekend go uh so we went up to see the grandfather-in-law up in the uh wisconsin border with the up um so wednesday is when i found the stag at three bats um and then we got up there thursday afternoon and uh mima asked if we needed anything picked up because she was going to the store I was like, no, I kind of want to go see what they have for bourbon up at the liquor store up there. What's the name of that liquor store? Uh, Munch's Taco Palace. Um, <laughs> that sounds good. And uh, Is that a Hope Solo uh, umbrella yeah. underneath her companies? Yeah. yeah. No free ads. No, it's called the Bright Spot, hmm. and you figure out what town we're in. Um, but because of what I'm about to say, so... Second day, like back to back, phone back to back, uh, bottle Eagle Rare, thirty three dollars it was. Fuck I told yeah. you thirty two, but I'm like, you've got to be. Sh-. I was like, I told Jessica going in, I'm like, we could have your mom pick up beer for us, but I just want to see. It was like, I'm. There's no way they're gonna have anything up here in the middle of Foxville. That's why you do it, though. Yeah, walked in, and I just she saw it like the same time. Like I turned, and she was like. Her jaw had dropped too, and she's like, "You gotta be shitting me." So, and also, awesome. Buffalo Trace, Lodi Liquor Store is trying to charge seventy dollars a bottle, twenty five bucks up there, just like what it always, it's supposed to be. Yeah, what it always has been. So, picked up a bottle of that too. Um, yeah, so that was the start of the trip, and then Friday morning went out with the grandfather in law fishing. Uh, it was pretty slow. Caught. The biggest smallie I've ever caught, but I think the only smallie I've ever caught. Um, it was a decent fish. Uh, and then, whatever, we caught a few walleye. Nothing huge. Um, well, as, did you listen to Meat Eater this week? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where There's they were talking like 14 two, inch. Two sizes of walleye. Yeah. The eaters. Eaters and, and lunkers or yep, whatever. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we caught eaters. Uh, and then, yeah, whatever, that was pretty good. And then we went up to Lake Superior, uh, let the girls swim around in that, listen to some Gordon Lightfoot on the way up there, the Edmund nice. Fitzgerald. Do you know why the Edmund Fitzgerald? Well, if you listen to me, yeah. you know. Did North, you know that ahead of They had brought that up on one of the prior episodes. That was the only reason I had known that. Well, tell the people if they haven't heard. So... Edmund Fitzgerald was the name of the CEO of Northwestern Mutual, based out of Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. So Milwaukee, they insured, they owned, insured, owned, and insured, owned yeah. the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yep. So that's what they did to try to increase their profits. Was they bought into Iron Futures or whatever mm-hmm. at the time? Um. So yeah. So we went up to Superior. Um. Yeah, I've been trying to think. Saturday, we kind of went to... There's a brewery up there. Um, 
that uh, we went there when it first opened and was not impressed by the beer. What's um, the name? I'm not going to say it because that will give away the town, which will give away the liquor store. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Um, so gr- the grandfather-in-law lives in Guile next to Hurley. The brewery, no free ads. Uh, Cold Iron Brewing in Ironwood, Michigan. Mm. Um, so, again, we went there when they first opened. Beer wasn't very good. Not, like, terrible, but not good. And then we went there this time around, and the beer's same quality. Just really? wouldn't go back. It's kind of a normal thing for breweries not to have their shit together right away, but usually yeah. they figure it out. And that's kind of what we, we figured, too. It's like, oh, we'll give them another chance, which sucks because the space that they have is beautiful. Like, you could have a wedding there. It's a huge, wide-open space, uh, really cool-looking, like, open ceiling, like, industrial look or whatever to it. The beer just sucks. Was there, was there one that you could actually stomach or you liked? So the last time we did a flight, this time we just ordered an individual beer, and I got the Kolsch, and it was like skunky. Hmm. And the mother-in-law got the Pilsner, and she said that, yeah, it tasted weird, and I'm like, skunky? And she's like, yeah. Hmm. And Jessica got a Shandy, which was basically a skunky lemonade at that point. Weird. And so it's just like all their beers just had, like, had a skunk I wonder if flavor to it. they don't go through it quick enough and it's just like sitting around for a be, long time. I mean, we walked in and it is, a, like I said, it's a huge space. You could have a wedding in there, like a good-sized wedding. And it was us and one other group when we walked in. That group left and then like a couple came in and one other small group, like about our size, came in. Huh. And yeah, maybe they just don't get enough traffic because it is a small town. Yeah. But... Um. Yeah, it was a good trip up until like coming home yesterday. Next time, I think we'll just have to leave on a, a Monday, stay a little, stay in another day because it was we made we made good time, but there was times where it's like people are just driving like idiots. Like even worse when we were up there last weekend. Really? Yeah. Um, a lot of. Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down on the Did interstate. It, so you still made good time, though? or was it like an Yeah, extra? we made it home, and usually it takes us uh, usually it takes us about four hours with a stop. It took us about three and a half hours with a stop. Hmm. But there was a couple times where the guy in front of me was doing 90, 91, and yeah. I'm like, I'll just keep up with this guy. Yep. And That's always nice when you have that. Yeah. Um, something I saw recently, and I don't know if you've seen it, Bert Kreischer, when he cooks for people, something's burning. Have you seen these YouTube videos? I have not. They're fucking hilarious. I I like him. I'm not a huge, like, I am not, like, obsessed with his stand-up or anything, Mm -hmm. but him being, like, the host of this while cooking and just, like, having conversations with people, highly recommend. So, I watched the... Taylor Luan, Will Compton, Bustin' with the Boys were okay. on there recently, and Shane Gillis like hopped in for the back half. Yep. Fucking hilarious. Bert asked Taylor and Will, what NFL coach, like, what coach do you wish you could have had that you didn't get to play for? And Shane, like, chimes in right away. He's like, Jerry Sandusky, <laughs> Pop Warner. <laughs> it's just, he is so fucking funny. I yeah. love him. And then another one I watched was uh, Mark Normand and yep. Bobby Lee. Oh, yep. That one is fucking bizarre. This is on YouTube or? YouTube. Okay. Something's Burning, Burt Kreischer, burning. and like, I don't know how See, many there are. And I like Burt's stand-up. Have you seen Shane Gillis's stand-up that he's got on YouTube? No, I need to. Speaking of the whole, like, things you shouldn't joke about, like the Jerry Sandusky his ending joke to that one is uh, about like the guy who came up with Special Olympics. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, he it's it's funny, but yet tasteful. So Shane and Mark Norman, like those two dude. dudes, I fucking love. 
That's why the Joe Rogan, no free ads, the Protect, Protect Our, Our Parks. Parks, him and, well, it's those two, and Ari Sh- Schaefer, yeah. Shafir, however you say his name. What's the thing Hilarious. with Ari and Bert? <laughs> so Ari, at one point, went over to Bert's house, yep. and Ari wanted to take Molly, and he just thought that Bert would say no to taking Molly. So he just fucking drugged him, like dropped him in okay, his drink. Okay, because he mentioned being drugged and, by Ari. And yes, and so Bert's wife got pissed. Yeah. Because it's like, if Bert would have known, then he would have probably done it anyway because he's just that guy. Yeah. But he, yeah, he got drugged by Ari. Yeah, it seems like Ari's like a really like wild card. Yeah, and Ari apparently has like made some inappropriate jokes about Bert's kids or whatever, too. So Bert's wife just doesn't really care for him, Yeah, I don't think. That's tough. Yeah. Like, in normal life where you're not a fucking celebrity, mm-hmm. it's one thing. Mm-hmm. And that still happens where a husband doesn't like someone or a wife doesn't like someone. Yep. Therefore, you don't see the other person that's tied to, the, you know, whatever it is. But when you're a fucking celebrity... And, like, everything you do is, like, filmed or, you know, for the public. And then that kind of shit happens. And Ari went, he was, like, almost completed school to become a rabbi. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Mark said multiple things, like, I can tell he's just, you know, a shifty little Jew. Look at him. (laughs) Well, and that's Ari's (laughs) most recent uh, special is Ari Shafir Jew or Ari Shafir Jew, whatever you say it. Oh my god, that group is fucking wild. Mm-hmm. But in the one something's burning with Mark and Bobby Lee, Bobby is like I won't I'm not gonna spoil it for He's you. He's a little Asian guy, right? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but he gets into some like weird personal heavy stuff. And they're both like at one point Bert's like, My daughter's working the set right now. Like <laughs> she's like helping. Like, what are we talking about? It is wild. I'm going to have to watch. So something's burning. Okay. Something's burning. Burt Kreischer and the one with Mark and Bobby Lee. Oh, fuck. Um, Hour 37 in. Yeah, outside of that, um, a lot of stuff with the Packers owners meeting today. Oh, yeah. That we were not able to be part of. But next year, we have to go. We have to go. Have yep. to go. That is a whole thing. Yep. Um, I would think we can get a good hotel for a cheap price, maybe. I'll work on it. Okay. Um, but yeah, we should definitely go to that. A lot of, you know, they talked about retiring 12 yep. at the right time. Talked about Jordan Love needs at least half a season to see if he's like the franchise quarterback or not. Talked about... High hopes for him. They he bought will, the... He will be. Yeah. They bought the company that makes cheese heads. Yep. Saw that. Yep. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So, and it looks just like an awesome time. Like people like yeah. dressed up full uniform. Like they got you know yeah. Packers jersey and all the stuff, helmet pads. Um, really excited for our fantasy football league, the good new <laughs> fantasy football league. Kyle's yeah. very excited. About I'm it. excited about picking the draft order. Do you have that figured so, out? So let's tell the people what yeah. we're doing. All right, so oh, we started a good new fantasy league. I have not played fantasy football in half a decade or more because it's I. It's got to be more than that. You've been complaining about fantasy football for as long as probably I've known a decade. You. Yeah, like you probably played last in college. That or just out of college, okay. yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. And what is your reason for hating it? Because I don't like to enjoy rooting. games that don't make sense. No, I do like that aspect of okay. it. I don't like. Oh, fucking, I don't want Jordy Nelson to catch a fucking touchdown because I'm playing against you Billy really, Bob, who's got him on his team. You realize your fandom should supersede fantasy. It And it does, but it's still, it's like, you still have that, like, well, why couldn't it be Randall Cobb instead of Jordy catching that? Because I have Randall Cobb on my team. But the adversity is what makes things, like, entertaining and fun. Hmm. It's more fun to, like, watch you guys draft and, like, make fun of you. That's why we needed you in it, so we could also make fun of you. Yeah, I get it. So, okay, the draft order. What are your plans? So, draft order, because I made I gave Denver shit. I was like, oh, what are you going to get the – because Denver somehow always, when they 
draft always would end up with like one or two and in the draft order. Would Facebook would take time out of his day to write the numbers down. Oh, you're such a hero. Cut the numbers <laughs> up. Fucking put the phone on a tripod. Facebook Live. The whole fucking thing. So everyone had proof showing what the... And it's just that's the way it happens. So Denver said that I could pick the draft order. Figure out how we pick the draft yeah, order this absolutely. year. absolutely. This so, is one responsibility. The only thing outside of playing and being a participant... So one thing he has to do. So I jokingly said, "All right, we're going to take the Wonderlic test, and we're going to go highest to lowest. That's going to be the draft order." And I found a website where you, we can take the Wonderlic for free, twelve minutes. So we'll just do it just before the draft. Okay. So that way we're all together. So everybody's together. So yep. there's no cheating, no calculators, nothing. Okay. And we all sit there. We take the draft, or we take the wonder lick, and then figure out who is what order in the draft. And that's okay. how we do it. So we'll need, it takes 12 minutes to do? 12 minutes to do. You have a 12-minute 12, 12 time limit, 50 questions, 12 minutes. 50 questions? 50 questions, 12 minutes. Holy fuck. All right, that's fine. We're, we're going to need the appropriate amount of time for me to set the lineup of the draft, though, before okay. the time. So... Whenever we pick the date, we'll have to... Maybe we should do it on a Saturday or Sunday instead of a Monday. That would be nice. I agree. But we people's weekends out. are always so fucking busy. Yes, I agree. So I hate to like push that yep. on someone. It's, we, and we can throw it out there to the guys. Otherwise, it's like, whatever. we. So there's eight of us. Mm-hmm. You get a percentage score at the end. Like, hey, you, you just gotta, get a number score. Like, oh, you scored... Out of 50, you scored 25. Out of 50, okay. you scored... Seven. So most correct is yep. first. Yep. On down. Yep. There's some strategy to this. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we just got to figure out: do we snake or do we just leave it? The well, same? there's gonna be people. There's gonna be people that aren't at the draft. So right. I don't know. So the way I was thinking of that we do that is somehow we do like a live stream for those people, like a Teams call. Oh, yeah. So we can video. I like that. So that way we can make sure that they are not using calculators or... Yeah. We won't be able to tell they're Googling, but that's going to eat into their time. Yeah. Um, what were you saying about... I think it should be Snake. Yeah. We always do Snake. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. The other thing we would have to figure out is... I personally like the idea of a keeper league. We're just getting it. The league that I just like disbanded and like got rid of. We were in our second year of keepers. When I played last, it was a keeper league. It just adds Which that I extra. I do la- like the idea of it. It adds the extra layer of how you draft. Yep. And that players get like put back into the pool. And I do like how you guys were doing it where it wasn't like, like, because what was it? third round or later was who you could keep you couldn't yeah. keep and each year they bumped up so like yep. if you drafted somebody in the third the next year they were a second round Worth pick second technically round pick. you couldn't keep them and this and so the way that that the league that i was in it didn't work like that like you could like if you had aaron Rodgers, you could keep him every year yeah that's that makes it which silly. i don't like yeah yeah we can talk about that. We have some time yet before the draft, but um, so stay tuned for that. Not a football podcast, but soon to be a football podcast. Football podcast. We'll have to come up. I don't want to have like a huge buy-in, but I want to have a really, really bad punishment for last place. Like have to take the SAT or ACTs or something. Oh. Like you have to pay for and take the ACTs and then post oh. your score on Fuck. social media. I took them twice, and I don't even want to say my score on either of them. The first time I took the ACTs, I was in. I wasn't in Branson, Missouri, but I was in Missouri when I took the fucking first ACT test. Those are, what is it, thirty six is a perfect score for ACT. Yeah, that sounds right. So we were on a spring break thing, going to visit my grandma in Branson, Missouri, and it was the time of year that you had to do it. Mm-hmm. So I, my parents signed me up for one down there in some fucking podunk little tiny school. It was awful. I took it. I took it twice as well. Second time I did a couple points better. Second but. time I did worse. <laughs> really? And I was local. <laughs> I 
tests, books, common sense, everything. You're not going to say I'm, what you scored? Uh, I think my first time, which would have been the higher score, I believe I had a, it was either a 17 or a 19. Okay. <laughs> Kyle was like, I had a 34 and a half. No, I didn't go that. I didn't hit 30. 26 was my, or 27 was the best. 26 was my average. 25, then 27. I'll blame uh, who we graduated with, Bo. He came with on that trip. <laughs> not front of the program, Bo, that we've had on multiple I, maybe, times. Yeah, no, He's not the one that's Slightly been, older. Not the one that's been on the podcast, but the guy that we went to school with, Bo, we were on spring break together. He came with us. And we may or may not have got into whatever the night prior. Not like some I was, plant medicine. I don't know what it was. Not like I was going to do well anyway. But it was a. I mean, long drive down to Branson. That know. is a long drive. Yeah. So just not set up for success. And then you know when you get home and you have time to prepare, you did worse. So yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Checks oh, out. Fuck. Um. <coughs> call it good. Yeah, we're hour 46 in, so... Like, subscribe, share, follow, spend some money, do the thing with the stuff. Please and thank you. We are at, last time I checked, 25 YouTube subscribers, so... Jeez Louise, guys. We gotta get to 1,000, come on. <sighs> yeah. Well, two milestones, 69, and I do the cold plunge. Oh, yep. And then 1,000, we can start monetizing yep. and investing in some cool shit um so yeah be a go friend to, tell a friend yep go to youtube hit subscribe um there'll be links all the stuff so do the thing like we each know enough people that we're gonna have to start whoring ourselves out to these people to like build that up yep but yeah um that's about it pretty good new good new